Did you grow up watching the hilarious sitcom Chico and the Man? It was perhaps one of the most underrated ones in America. It followed Latino Chico and his relationship with elderly Anglo-Saxon Ed. It was one of the early sitcoms in America to show the diverse cultures that exist in the country. Sadly, some of the cast members are no longer with us. Let's look back on their incredible lives and careers and remember their legacies. Freddie Prince. One of the great American comic performers of the 1970s left us way too soon. Freddie Prinze began his career as a stand-up comedian, performing all across New York City. He soon rose up the ranks of New York's comedy scene and began performing on television. One of his earliest appearances was on The Jack Parr Show. His big break came in December of 1973 when he performed on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Following his performance, he was asked to sit and chat with Johnny, which was rare for younger comedians at the time. He later served as a guest host for The Tonight Show. He was in his early 20s when he became known to TV audiences. He became a household name when he was cast as Chico in Chico and the Man. He appeared in the show for 68 episodes from September of 1974 until his death in 1977. Fame came to Freddie rather quickly. This must have taken his toll on him as he felt depressed throughout much of his career. He also took drugs, which further led to his depressive state. He attempted suicide on January 28, 1977 by shooting himself in the head in the presence of his business manager, Marvin Snyder. His depression had worsened following his divorce from his wife, Kathy. Freddie was rushed to the hospital following his suicide attempt and placed on life support. His family pulled him off life support January 29, 1977. He died at 22 years old. He survived by his son, Freddie Prince Jr., who's an accomplished actor in his own right. Despite his short life, he left behind a great body of work and should be remembered as one of the great American comic talents. Before we tell you more about the tragic deaths in Chico and the Man's cast, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Jack Albertson Jack Albertson was born in Malden, Massachusetts on June 16, 1907 as Harold Albertson. He dropped out of high school and took up different odd jobs. He worked in a General Electric power plant and several shoe stores, but he began honing his entertainment talents when he began hustling at neighborhood pool parlors. He learned tap dancing from fellow pool hustlers and soon got involved with the vaudeville scene. His professional entertainment career began in theater. He appeared in several Broadway plays including Showboat, Girl Crazy, The Sunshine Boys, and The Subject Was Roses. He had a prolific career in film and TV as well. His film credits include roles in Miracle on 34th Street, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and the film adaptation of The Subject Was Roses, as well as The Poseidon Adventure. On TV, he appeared in shows like Hey Genie, Pete and Gladys, The Twilight Zone, and Mr. Ed. On Chico and the Man, he played the lead role of Ed Brown. This became one of the roles he was most remembered for. His chemistry with Freddie Prinze made them one of TV comedy's most popular duos. Jack Albertson had a wonderful career. Sadly, he suffered from colorectal cancer, being diagnosed in 1978. He kept his illness private and continued to act, with his final role as Amos Slade in the animated film The Fox and the Hound. He died in 1981 at age 74. It should also be noted, his sister Mabel was an actress who appeared on the popular show Bewitched. She died 10 months after him due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Della Reese The term Renaissance woman could have been invented just for Della Reese. She was a prolific and versatile entertainer. She was born July 6, 1931 in Detroit. She began her career as a gospel singer, performing with renowned gospel artist Mahalia Jackson. She later ventured on her own and sung on jazz and pop records. Her acting career began in the late 60s. She had her own talk show called Della, which ran for almost 200 episodes. Her role as Della Rogers in Chico and the Man was one of her best-known TV roles. She also received acclaim for her appearance in the hit 1970s sitcom Sanford and Son. She later teamed up with Red Fox again in the sitcom The Royal Family, which was short-lived due to Fox's untimely death. She had appearances in popular shows like Night Court, Welcome Back Cotter, MacGyver, The A-Team, and That's So Raven. Later generations would remember Della Reese as Tess from the drama series Touched by an Angel. Her notable film work includes roles in Harlem Nights, 
A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, Beauty Shop, Expecting Mary, and Christmas Angel. We lost Della Reese in 2017 at age 86. The reason for her death remains undisclosed, but it's known she had diabetes for several years. Scatman Crothers. We lost another legend November 22, 1986, when Scatman Crothers passed away. He was 76 and had been suffering from lung cancer. Benjamin Sherman Crothers was born in Terre Haute, Indiana on May 23, 1910. He began his showbiz career during his teens. He was a singer and played the guitar and drums, which he taught himself. He became known for his scat singing, which led to him adopting the moniker Scatman Crothers. He made his film debut in the 1953 film Meet Me at the Fair. His notable film work included roles in The King of Marvin Gardens, The Aristocats, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Silver Streak, and The Shining. His most popular TV role was as Louis the Garbage Man in Chico and the Man. He also appeared in Sanford and Son, Roots, Starsky and Hutch, and Taxi. Like Della Reese, he was a versatile and prolific entertainer. Ronnie Graham Ronnie Graham came into this world on August 26, 1919 in Philadelphia. He was born into a showbiz family, as his parents were both vaudeville performers. He taught himself to play piano and began performing with jazz bands and nightclubs. He also entertained the troops during the Second World War. In the 50s, he began working in musical theater. One of his early successes was writing the lyrics and sketches for the review New Faces of 1952. He also wrote the lyrics for Bravo Giovanni. He later embarked upon a career as a TV writer. He wrote seven episodes of M.A.S.H. He co-wrote the screenplays for the Mel Brooks films To Be or Not to Be and Spaceballs. He also occasionally acted in films and TV shows. On Chico and the Man, he played the role of Reverend Bemis in the second season of the show. He sadly left us in 1999 at age 79. He died from liver disease. His was a career to truly be admired. He was a self-taught artist who managed to succeed in a variety of disciplines, from songwriting to screenwriting to acting. He worked in a variety of mediums, from theater to television to cinema. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think a show like Chico and the Man holds up today? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.